Thank you so much both for joining me today. I wanted to talk with both of you away from the ring, away from any distractions. Chip, away from Jeff G. Bailey. Shane, away from Miss Rachel. Because the focus at Sacred Ground, Chapter 5, is that title that Chip Day holds. And I wanted to get your thoughts heading into this match. Chip Day, you are quite possibly, by any metric that you want to measure, the greatest champion in PCW history. You hold victories over everyone who has held that belt. Do you feel respected going into this match? Uh, if, if, if we really want to shoot from the hip here, no, I don't. Um, see, the focal point, unfortunately, hasn't been this championship, which I've fought for five years now to get. Uh, the focal point now has been the war between my manager, Jeff G. Bailey, and uh, your girlfriend, Miss Rachel. To answer the question, I don't feel respected, but at Sacred Ground, I'm going to prove exactly why the focus should have been on this championship, and more importantly, why the focus should have been on me. Shane Marks, no one has held that title more times than you have. You were the first champion. How do you get it back? Simple. Sick of ground. I'm gonna get chipped in the fight of his life. Sick of ground. That championship, you fought five years to get. Very impressive. That, but in a year and a half of not holding that championship, I've wanted it more than anything in this world. I craved for that championship. So believe me, I think at ground five, the way I'm going to get it, so I can beat you for it. Believe me, I'm going to beat you for it. Now, the last time a title was on the line. I, I need to, I need to interrupt for a second because this is this is once again, as you said, it's a very rare chance to get me without without Jeff G. Bailey. And to get me unmuzzled, you, you're getting Chip Day in his purest form right now. <clears throat> you said that for the last year and a half, you've wanted this title more than anything. Within my first couple months in PCW, and nobody really wants to acknowledge this, there's no footage of it, there's no nothing, which I find very suspicious, Shane Marks. Um, I'm pretty sure at the Masquerade, I was the one that pinned you to make you lose the PCW championship in the first place, is, is that is that that's not is that that's an accurate fact. That is an accurate that's an fact. Accurate that's fact. an accurate okay. fact. Okay, so if you're questioning my desire to want to like keep this championship and hold on to it from the first moment I stepped into PCW, you got another thing coming. The sacred ground. You're talking about giving me the fight of my life. Sacred ground might be the end of yours. Not once have I ever said you weren't passionate, that you weren't dedicated. I remember that match very clearly. You were the man that pinned me after 13 months of holding that very championship. Now, we all both know who walked out of that night, but to me, that's not what was important. What was important was the fact that out of everyone that came down that pipe, Every single person for the 13 months I held that championship, Mason on numerous times, Jay Fury, Davey Richards, even Adam Pierce had a shot at that championship. Chip Day, who I've wrestled before, who we have a long history, obviously. You were the one that ended my 13 months as champion. So you talk about earlier that you didn't feel respected. Despite everything that's going between us right now, I may not like you right now, but I'll always have respect for you and what you did in that ring. Which is why this match is important to me. Which is why I'm going to give you the fight of my life for that championship, for that very reason. Because if they didn't see it, I always have. If they haven't noticed that Chip Day deserved to be the PCW champion when he won it, 
I did it. Which is why it means the most to me right now that at Sacred Ground 5, that championship will be won by me. So I expect everything that you have and more. Chip, does it have to be Shane Marks? Does he have to be the man in this spot for you to beat, to cement your legacy as the PCW champion? Obviously so. Obviously he is the office's <laughs> hand-picked hand toy that they want to play with in the sandbox now against me. It's not going to be any different this time. This time, we get an hour. We get an hour, and yeah, you've gone, you've gone an hour with people before. You've gone almost an hour with Adam Pierce at the first sacred ground. You went an hour with Freddie AI. That's awesome. You went an hour with the guy that's the best at exercising. Get in the ring with the guy that's the best wrestler in the company right now. Get in there with an hour with me. Because right now, I'm on a tear. In case you people haven't noticed, Chip Day's on a tear. Took down Rich Swan. Took down Rich Swan. Wrestled AJ Styles for over 15 minutes. Nobody ever wants to talk about that now these days. Shane Marks, you step into the ring with me in less than two weeks. I feel so sorry for you. Just another name on the list this year. 2014's going out in a big, big way. The last time you had an opportunity, Shane, to win a title at Sacred Ground, it did not go your way. Does that play into Sacred Ground Chapter 5, the fifth edition of the biggest event in the state as far as wrestling is concerned. How do you wipe out the memory of what happened the last time a title was on the line for you? That's not going to play a factor because I wiped out that memory two weeks later when I beat Mason for the title. Questionable circumstances regardless. I still walked away two-time PCW champion. Sacred Ground 5, that's not going to play a factor either. Because in case you haven't noticed, or you haven't noticed, you're not the only one that's been on a roll lately. You're not the only one who's been on a tear lately. You may have beaten Rich Swan, but on the same night, I beat three people just to get to you. Less than two weeks. Sacred Ground 5. I'm ready. I'm more than ready. I'm beyond ready. I truly hope, truly, truly hope that you are prepared to go for an hour. I truly hope you are prepared to wrestle me for an hour. Because as hard as you hit, I hit just as hard. As long as you want to go, one hour, 90 minutes, doesn't make a difference. The outcome's going to be the same. I'm walking out PCW champion. Whether you like it or not. This main event comes down to two things for two men. Respect and redemption. Chip Day seeks to earn the respect that he believes he has missed out on, that he believes he is due and has not been given. Shane Mark seeks to redeem himself from past transgressions and even more recent past failures. Gentlemen, do you have any final thoughts on the main event to Sacred Ground, Chapter 5? I will go to the champion first. You know what? I talked a lot tonight. More, more than, more than this company has allowed me to in the past year. So, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna let you go. So, I'm gonna let you go first. I'm gonna let you tell these people something they don't know about me. I want to get the last time to hard sell these people on my show. I'll let him go. 
Final thoughts. It's very simple. He said it very eloquently. This is about redemption. Things I've done, I became a different person. In that last match when I wrestled Steve, everything changed again. See, this time, it wasn't me that changed much. It was the atmosphere. I want you to understand this shit. No matter how much everything seems different, there's no real difference in me. With all the cheers that I get now from the fans when I'm accepting me, understand this. I'm still the same son of a bitch that turned his back on this company on November 11th and tried to kill it. As bad as you've been this entire year, for the last three years, I've been worse. Those people may not like you, but for three years, they hated me, and I relished in it. I'm not that good of a person. I'm, I have no problem admitting that. I have a lot of evil in me still. That sacred ground five. Don't be surprised any of that evil comes out. Don't be surprised if that same sadistic son of a bitch that you ran the gamut with for the last three years leading up to this doesn't come out. I'm more than determined to win that championship again. And if you're the final step, if you're that final demon that I have to conquer, Sick of Ground 5 and Porter Dell, so be it. For the longest time, Shane, for the longest time, I've heard you call yourself best wrestler in the world. You call yourself the best wrestler in the world, and that's fine. That's fine. You can be the best wrestler in the world. I've heard people say that. I've seen them fall. I've seen them fail. They failed this business. You're no different. Sacred Ground 5, you're going to fail this business. You're going to fail this company. Me? I get to say professional wrestling. One match at a time. Because that's been my goal this whole time, Shane. I came to PCW to make it better. But they wouldn't let me do it. From day one, they questioned me. From day one, every single person in that locker room questioned me. Oh, yeah, I don't know if Chip Day's got it. You know, he just... I don't know. He, he goes against the grain too much. Maybe I do. I go against the odds. I go against the world. No regrets about it. I say what I want to say when I'm allowed to. I do what I want to do. I don't play by anybody else's rules, and you're no, you're no stranger to that. You know me. You know me very well. <clears throat> which question, which makes me question this whole this whole time. What makes what makes anybody think that you're any better than me about what you do in that ring? What is it? A year ago, you were doing the exact same stuff I was. And they hated you for it. What changed? Stay the same person. The people that follow this business are so fickle, so fair weather. It makes me sick, and that's why I'm trying to save this business. Because its fans have failed it. The wrestlers themselves have failed it. I'm trying to pick it up, take it on my back, and make it something better. All I've ever asked for was a chance, and this, this is my chance, and I took it. Anybody else would have done the same. 
some sacred ground. I'm not going to let you or anybody else fail the business that I love anymore. Chip Day's walking out with this title on his shoulder. Do or die. Just a shame it had to be somebody I could call a friend at one point.